Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody is having a, uh, a wonderful Labor Day. A uh, little cloudy and kind of cool. Oh, there's a dog barking. Uh, but uh, yeah, not not too not too bad. So I uh, hope you get some barbecuing done and all those exciting uh, Labor Day activities and uh, you put all your white pants away. It is day 174 of Church in the Time of Quarantine and uh, it is September 7th. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff happened today. Uh, in 70, Titus, uh, he occupied and plundered Jerusalem, uh, sacking the temple and all that. So if you wonder why there's what happened to the temple, well, thanks, Titus. That's why there's no longer a temple on the Temple Mount. Uh, 1533, uh, Elizabeth I uh, was born on this day. 1936, uh, Buddy Holly, uh, the musician, was born on this day. And in 1997, Mobutu Sese Seko, the uh, dictator of Zaire, uh, most famous for, uh, well, I don't know what he's most famous for, but he's the one that sponsored the boxing match between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, the Rumble in the Jungle. Uh, that's that's who did that. But he died on this day in 1997, and the reason I bring him up is just because I always like to say his full name and the translation of his full name, because uh, it's actually Mobutu Sesi Seiko Kuku Negbundo Wazabanga which means the all-powerful warrior who, because of his endurance and inflexible will to win, will go from conquest to conquest. So if you think you have a cool name, probably don't compare to Mobutu Sesi Seiko. All right, well, announcements. Uh, just, I think, uh, let's keep this one in your prayers. The numbers um, for being able to get back to church are going in the right direction. They're going down like that. Um, we, at one point, I think the, the number has to be at 50. At one point, we're at 200, and then we're now closer to 100. So if this trend continues, um, hopefully we can have church in the next few weeks. Uh, keep that in your prayers, and uh, pray that uh, no one did anything too stupid on Labor Day and the big Harley convention uh, that uh, I can hear from my house. Uh, that didn't spread too much. I don't know how many times you can play Sweet Home Alabama, but... I think they were going for a record this weekend. Um, all right. Well, that brings us to trivia. It's been a few days. Apologize about that. The question we had the other day was uh, from September 2nd. Uh, this park became a national park in 1940 and is the most visited national park. That is Great Smoky Mountains National Park in uh, eastern Tennessee. I think part of North... I think it goes a little into North Carolina. I can't remember. It's beautiful. You should go there. Okay, well today, since it's Elizabeth the First birthday, just have a have a quick Elizabeth the First trivia. Um, the question is, who is her mother? So if you know Elizabeth the First mother, uh, send that one on in. All right, we'll have a little reflection today on mercy uh, from William Tyndale. He has this to say about mercy: To be merciful is to have compassion, to feel another's sickness, to mourn with those who are in grief, to suffer with someone in trouble to help in any way we can, and to comfort with loving words. To be merciful is lovingly to forgive someone who has offended you when they admit their behavior and ask you for mercy. To be merciful is to be patient with sinners, praying that God will ultimately convert them. To be merciful is to see the best in everything, to look through the fingers at many things and not make a grievous sin of every small trifle. All right, well, that's... Uh, William Tyndale today, and uh, we'll end with a prayer uh, for protection. Just think about that day, uh, people in California with the fires and all that. So let's, uh, let's end with a prayer for protection. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose the way of thy servants towards the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by thy gracious and ready help through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, well, happy Labor Day and talk to you later.